Hi everyone and welcome back to another uh, episode of Bio Point Talks and today is uh, one of the great and auspicious occasion because we are now talking about the Cardano summit which will be held uh, in at 6:30 around 6:30 for Indian Indian viewers and 1:31 uh, at uh, UTC right so uh, this is one of the underrated uh, cryptocurrency which is you know uh, had very less popularity uh, as compared to ethereum or bitcoin so today we have ashwin with us uh, who is an expert with blo uh, blockchain development and we have sanhita with us who is a expert and uh, crypto analyst who's an expert in crypto analyst analysis so uh, let's start with sanhita uh, sanhita can you please tell us what is your experience with karano and you, you can introduce yourself to our you viewers new viewers and returning viewers great so thank you for the introduction uh, and thank you for having me by coin so uh, i am sanhita napa uh, i have four years um, more than four years of experience in crypto analysis uh, with my strong paths in quantitative analysis uh, and stuff uh, so coming to cardano uh, cardano is one of my favorite coins for so long uh, we, uh, since 2017 uh, from its launch so i've been watching it and uh, i have invested it uh, in, i also invested in it so yeah uh, cardano uh, is yeah as you said it is highly underrated uh, cryptocurrency it was highly underrated cryptocurrency for so long uh, but uh, right now after the launch of its product and the hard fork that happened i think it had it is gaining its own limelight uh, in the crypto ecosystem so yeah it's uh, yeah we can consider it as a third gen uh, blockchain uh, technology that is in place uh, after bitcoin and ethereum so uh, much similar to ethereum founded by uh, hopkins and Ch one of the ethereum uh, one of the ethereum founders uh yeah and yeah uh, so I'm okay in. thank you thank you for sharing the experience with sagarano uh, going to ashwin what is your experience uh, with cardano and can you introduce yourself for our viewers yeah sure uh, so uh, hello everyone uh, my name is ashwin singh and uh, i've been working as a blockchain developer in bycoin for the past uh, almost 2 years now and uh, i've been uh, uh, creating some wallets and uh, you know uh, doing some r&d in uh, every blockchain sphere uh, that is currently in the market right now and uh, i've been watching uh, cardano uh, too uh, very closely now and uh, some recent interesting developments have been uh, there in cardano right now uh, especially the alonzo hard fork uh, which has implemented a uh, smart contract uh, to its uh, blockchain and uh, i think it's going to be a game changer uh, when it comes to uh, you know smart contracts and all the defi and nft spheres all combined together so uh, after this uh, after the successful launch of uh, alonso hard fork uh, they are uh, going to move forward with hydra uh, that is uh, uh, going to a more scalable solution for cardano and uh, increasing the transaction throughput and all yeah great 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 so okay so uh, starting with uh, sanhita that uh, for the indian users or those who don't know about cardano who are living in the, under the rock or whatever so uh, what is cardano and uh, can you tell us please so yeah as i said uh, it's a third generation blockchain we can consider it uh, much similar to ethereum as uh, one of its founders is uh, the founders of ethereum as well so uh, it uh, it can uh, uh, accommodate dabs the smart contracts uh, the and it is much uh, and yeah it is the uh, it is backed by this proof of stake uh, consensus unlike the ethereum so yeah there are a lot of similarities with ethereum because i am comparing it to the ethereum because most of the users both most of us are very much comfortable and know what it is yeah uh, so much similar to ethereum but much scalable and interoperable and it's uh, uh and the new consensus uh, that is the proof of stake is uh, enables it uh, uh with more uh scalability and stuff and uh yeah uh so we can uh okay yeah, uh, okay okay so uh proof of stake that is 
like very technical terms so ashwin can you yeah. help me with that right uh, ashwin yeah, sure. can help me yeah. right what is proof of stake man everybody is talking about proof of stake what is it okay so i'll explain first what is proof of work and how does it work so uh, bitcoin uh, the first uh, blockchain that was uh, that has implemented proof of work was uh, bitcoin so uh, what miners do is that uh, they do some uh, computing algorithm and very high computing algorithm and uh, they have to show some work like they are mining and uh, mining some stuff so uh, this uh, this uh, consumes too much electricity like uh, in a recent study they found out that uh, bitcoin uses almost uh, the energy uh, that is uh, used in norway so uh, you can assume that uh, how much energy is used in proof of work so uh, uh, the developers and all the crypto cryptographic scientists so they proposed the solution that they should move on to proof of stake uh, it's a very light uh, light weighted algorithm that uh, most of the blockchains that are using it right now so uh, in proof of stake what uh, Uh, what uh, the validator does is that uh, they stake some uh, native tokens uh, they stake some native tokens to, uh, in their con- in the smart contract and uh, they validate the transactions it uh, it almost uh, it it uses almost 99.99% uh, less energy than proof of work so it's uh, very scalable and uh, security wise it's almost the same as proof of work uh so uh, most of the blockchains are shifting to that uh, so yeah okay. that's it great 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 so it takes less energy right so uh, okay so you were talking about the hard fork uh, which was held uh, like a week uh, earlier so uh, sanita what are your thoughts on that ki what we uh, what will be the outcome that can help others like uh, apart from ethereum or bitcoin right so the major uh, change that we have uh, on the hard fork is uh, yeah. hard fork is that uh, they introduce smart contracts uh, with this and that is a much much awaited thing that all the cardano community is waiting for since so long uh, because, uh, we can see that the cardano community is very strong uh, and the cardano uh, team is very strong uh, with the research part we are, that's one of the uh, one of those very rare uh, projects which have a very strong research uh, academic research that is happening so they are very good on uh, there is a very good research that had happened and uh, yes uh, this is a much needed uh, uh, upgrade that we need in the blockchain space uh, after ethereum because uh, ethereum is facing some issues right now with the very high gas fees and everything so yeah uh, uh, with this uh, change in consensus that is proof of stake production uh, and the very strong uh, research uh, i think it's definitely going to bring a lot of uh, uh, disruption in the industry yeah and yeah, uh, uh, yeah go on so sure, sure. so uh, so the main capabilities which were which was uh, you know known by by this hard fork was like smart contracts and as we speak of smart contracts right so the the functionality the capabilities of smart contracts is very high as compared to the decentralized app and all because uh, you can create your own uh, tokens now right i hope yep. uh, that we can create our own tokens apart from the ethereum blockchain or uh the uh, binance blockchain which is already in use so uh, so what are your thoughts on that that will it, uh, will it uh, you know bring the price down for create creation of the tokens or nfts definitely yes definitely yes as uh, we were discussing uh, the same proof of stake is the uh, thing that would help uh, cardano to do that uh, I, de- i would definitely say that uh, the price is the gas fee and uh, the minting fee or whatever everything goes down the energy that we use and everything definitely drastically goes down and yeah with the uh, new nft boom out there in the market uh, and yes uh, cardano is going to support this nft minting nfts as well so yes uh, this is definitely going to drastically uh listen the transaction cost uh, the mining uh, cost and everything and it's much easier and sustainable yeah yeah so uh so moving with ashwin on same the on the same topic that nft is one of the hottest topic right now right ashwin so yes. uh, what uh, what 
it brings what it bring, uh, cardano brings on the table with the, its smart contracts and what can we you know uh, expect from these contracts yeah so uh, as sanita said that uh, mining uh, nfts on ethereum right now are very costly uh, because of the gas fees and uh, and everything so uh, what cardano will bring is that it will first of all reduce the gas fees the transaction cost which are uh, very high on ethereum as compared to ada and uh, after that uh, the transaction throughput which i said earlier that cardano has very high transaction throughput so it can process a lot of transactions uh, compare as compared to ethereum so uh, what it will do is it will drastically change the NF nft sphere that is uh, currently uh, the bottleneck on ethereum blockchain so uh, if the smart contract uh, implementation goes successful on the uh, cardano blockchain i think uh, many projects like most of the projects uh, are going to shift to cardano blockchain okay great 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 so we expect we can expect many amazing things from cardano uh, smart contracts okay uh, so uh, okay great so we'll be moving on with another question that can you guys just tell me about overall uh you know the overall view on ethereum versus cardano where you stand uh sanita you can start first okay ethereum versus cardano so uh, we can say that there are a lot of similarities between ethereum and cardano also uh, they are drastically different in many ways so uh, coming to the similarities uh, both can uh, both host uh, uh, smart contracts both can uh, uh, on both the blockchains we can do dapps and uh, deploy a lot of things uh, but the core thing uh, the consensus uh, that is backing both of this is very different as we have discussed uh, ethereum uh, uh, works on the proof of work consensus and uh, cardano Works on proof of state consensus, and uh, that, that's a major a major difference. And yeah, yeah, of course, uh, uh, and of course, uh, uh, Cardano is much scalable uh, because it, it does have this uh, new side chains and everything for the other I mean, uh, to for the peripherals to uh, deal with the peripherals and everything. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, and the core. Uh, uh what's that language uh, backing it like uh ethereum uses solidity as uh, the language and this uses plutus if i'm not wrong and yeah, yeah uh, the code and everything is different and uh, the ma yeah the major difference is uh, comes with this the proof of work and proof of stake i would say uh, also ethereum is uh, moving on to proof of stake uh, consensus uh, and i mean it's planning to move uh, keeping that in mind uh, yes cardano has its plays in the industry because it's the first in the market to uh, launch that consensus and uh, yeah i would say those are the major differences that we can have uh, between cardano and ethereum and uh, yeah the gas fees as we discussed again yeah. ethereum and so ethereum, can, uh, cardano have a ship yeah so can we say that that uh, cardano is like the cheapest cheap version or the you know uh, the less expensive version of yes. uh, ethereum Okay, it's, we cannot. Uh, I mean, uh, let's not. Talk. It's more efficient than Ethereum. I think it's better to call it more efficient uh, and the upgraded version of Ethereum. Uh, they have, uh, because of the less transaction cost and, and everything. But I think uh, uh, calling it cheap would uh, also impact its uh, robust. Uh, uh, you know, the blockchain ecosystem and everything. Because, uh, but in that, uh, if you see in that sense, I think Cardano is as strong as Ethereum and. Uh, yeah we can expect okay. a lot of things from it yeah. okay great 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 so ashwin on the technical note can you please uh, enlighten us with the cardano versus ethereum feud going on right now uh, from my per uh, perspective i think that uh, cardano is still at a very nascent stage right now uh, it's still growing and uh, you know but uh, on the other hand ethereum has uh, done some uh, brilliant developments on it uh from the day it has launched uh like implementing smart contracts and uh, the uh, the whole defi uh, sphere is on ethereum blockchain so uh, i won't say that uh, cardano is uh, cheaper or a, a smaller version of ethereum uh, i would say that uh, it's a more uh, let's say upgraded version of ethereum but at a very uh, nascent stage so uh, 
let's see what other developments uh, there would be uh, in the recent uh, coming years on cardano and uh, i guess i'm very excited about that and uh, uh, the since they are implementing proof of stake and everything so uh, i think uh, that would be a game changer if it comes to that okay great 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 so uh, moving on with on to the trading part now so uh, the price movement which we are seeing uh, nowadays is like up and down all the way so uh, what are your thoughts on the price price movement after after the summit not before the summit but after the summit what do you think sanista on that okay uh, yeah i think this is my favorite part uh, so uh, we can see that uh, uh, cardano is doing really well uh, the whole year uh, despite uh, the some bears uh, in the market i think uh, it increased around uh, 1600% uh, uh, percent which is like huge in 2021 alone and if you see the last 12 uh, 12 months uh, and there is almost 2400% increase in the price of cardano and right now it is at uh, 2.3 uh, fluctuating over there somewhere uh, uh, above uh, $2 and if you see the uh, market cap right it's around 72 billion which is which is very huge and it's the third biggest uh, uh, cryptocurrency right now in the industry uh, it is such a big leap for cardano and uh, i think uh, if the market uh, uh, like uh, as we can see that there is uh, there is some bearish market running down uh, right now uh, it's in consolidation phase uh, uh, if the market supports uh, right uh, of course everything is correlated with, with bitcoin at the end of the day uh, no matter how big the product is if the uh, if the market supports def- definitely cardano with the good development that we have uh, with the hard fork uh, in place and everything uh, cardano can definitely see new highs at least uh, at least 5 dollars by december and and i think there is no going back but despite okay. the volatility yeah right right so uh, will ada will be able to cross the key resistance level of 3 dollars in coming days uh definitely there is a high scope uh but it also as we said it also depends on the whole crypto market uh, uh if at least if it is neutral uh, the market is neutral yes definitely 3 dollar is not very far yeah okay okay great so ashwin what are your thoughts on this topic that uh, will cardano will rise and goes above the charts uh, after the summit uh yeah after the summit uh, uh, before the summit also i can see i uh, I'd, i'd see that uh, cardano has been increasing uh, with koti that is a uh, currency of the internet so uh, before the summit uh, there was there has been an o- announcement that koti has been uh, uh, teaming up with ardana that is a uh, uh, stable coin environment that is being uh, developed on cardano so after the announcement only uh, koti has been increased of, uh, up to 20 to 30% i guess so uh, let's see uh, it all, it all depends on the summit uh, what all what are the key factors that are going to be included in cardano blockchain uh, these are going to be discussed especially the keynote of uh, charles hoskinson that would be a, a major uh, let's say a stepping uh, a, a catalyst uh, to the ada price okay great great so we can wait for the cardano summit to see what are the changes okay great yes. so moving on uh, with the common question which i uh, going on in the chat is that why they choose cardano over any other uh, cryptocurrency uh the major factor that uh, that is on the table right now is the first is scalability and second is transaction fees which ethereum is lacking in both of them right now uh, they are planning to move to proof of stake and uh, bringing up uh, scaling solutions like sharding and everything but uh, since cardano has already implemented these uh, so there's a uh, there's a huge chance that uh, new businesses are going to be developed on cardano all the defi ecosystem and nfts and everything related to crypto space and blockchain these are uh, the developments that you will see on cardano blockchain okay great great so uh, shanista uh, going with the same question why the indian people choose cardano over any other altcoin or the bitcoin 
okay why to choose cadmium yeah i would say yeah though it is uh, nascent uh, than ethereum and uh, uh, bitcoin out there but uh, uh, it already came up with a good uh, product and it is already uh, proving in the market that it can uh, bring that disruption that the market needs as we uh, as we already know and that that's one thing it's 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 more matured than all the cryptocurrencies out there that are nascent uh, which are yet to uh, launch their blockchain and the uh, uh other things uh and without a product uh, it is i would say it is much more reliable uh, to come on the cardano and uh, when compared to ethereum again it has its own edge uh with uh, lesser transaction fee and uh, more sustainable more interoperable and uh, more reliable solutions so yeah that's the main reason why we can choose cardano over ethereum okay okay great uh so uh, what are what are you most excited about this summit can you tell me about what is Uh, what is the main thing you are looking for this in this summit okay the main thing that i am looking for yeah how would how would uh, like how the public is going to receive it and how i, I would say as i said uh, it's a very huge leap in terms of market cap and the way it uh, to go over the market right after uh, uh, this uh, uh, product launch and uh, the most exciting part is the same like how uh, how drastic the adoption is going to be uh, and how people are going to receive it and uh, of course because it's very nascent we can expect some bugs and uh, other things but despite that that is very common in any product any new product that's uh, going to come into the market but uh, despite that uh, uh, and uh, uh, you know looking into this research and uh, everything that the guys did uh, uh, yeah the biggest uh, thing that i'm waiting for is its adoption and into the market and how people are going to receive it okay more and more adoption by yeah. the people around the world that is why we are connecting uh, on online via online or offline on for this summit so ashwin what is you are waiting for what what do you want from this summit what are you looking uh, as a blockchain developer as a blockchain developer uh, i'm i'm very excited about the developments how the developments are going to take place on cardano blockchain since it has released it uh, its smart contracts uh, in compatibility and everything so uh, i have i read uh, i read about the, the smart contracts implementation and uh, they use they are using mostly haskell so it's not a very familiar language among developers if you ask me uh since ethereum has used solidity which is a uh, very very similar to javascript so uh, the adoption of uh, ethereum and every uh, the uh, smart contracts and everything uh, it didn't uh, take much time to you know uh, learn it but uh, since haskell is a very uh, i won't say tough language but a complicated language to learn uh there are there uh, there should be some time uh, in which uh, developers are uh, going to learn it and uh, develop some really cool stuff on cardano blockchain okay great great so uh, i'll uh, ask you guys on the sending note uh, can you please give your closing statements what are your thoughts what, what are your thoughts on cardano and what you want uh, that people should know about cardano ashwin you can start uh the i would uh, expect uh, after the summit that uh, all the uh, developments that are going especially what i read about ardana and koti that they are going to build a payment system for the world and uh, koti uh, the arda ardana is uh, something like uh, which is a stable coin uh, atmosphere that is being created on cardano blockchain these are some huge projects that are coming up on cardano and uh, especially uh, i would uh, like to see how interoperability is done on cardano blockchain so i'm okay uh, right. okay great 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 so sanita what are your closing statement what do you want people should know about cardano yeah so uh, something that i really liked uh, about cardano uh, is its a recent uh, uh, tweet uh, uh, that is like uh, their remoto uh, that is building a decentralized system uh, for creating a new economic identity and opportunity to everyone out there so uh, 
uh, I wish people uh, know more and, uh, about Cardano and the opportunities out there and the economic opportunities or uh, the development opportunities that we have uh, to disrupt the, in, the existing economic system and its potential to change the way we see the world. Yeah, that's my closing statement. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys, for joining thank us. You, and, thank you, Santa. Uh, I hope uh, you will meet in the uh, Kadana Summit as well. <laughs> okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Ashwin. Thank you. And uh, thank you. Thank you for having me.